Hello, family, friends. Uh, 6.09, Saturday, October 25th. Not really anything, just a driving day. Um, bam, got one of these things. Got to have them everywhere you go. Um, I'm tired. I didn't really drive that much today. Um, man, I think I drove five hours, six hours maybe. Um, just a, a dreary, drizzly day. Um, but I kind of lucked out on the weather. I didn't get the snow that's up north that I'm going to hit tomorrow, which has already fell. The streets are still fairly warm. Um, not too concerned about that. I ran out of the drizzle and had some trucks that were behind me that were going, of course, they're not governed to 64.8 mile per hour. They were doing 70 and 75 in the 75 zones and 70, and I don't know what their speeds were, but they come by with mirrors covered and, and antennas covered with ice. So the drizzle that was behind me actually turned into ice. And it, like I say, though, the streets are warm enough that it ain't doing anything. But with the antennas and all that in the wind, I mean, of course, it, it, it packs up with ice. Um, the load did good today. Truck did good. I decided today to let the truck drive itself throttle-wise. I wanted to see the difference between me controlling the throttle and the truck controlling the throttle as far as miles per gallon, which goes against my pay for performance, which I am going to explain. Um, and I was hitting 8.3, 8.5, and when I finally parked, because I got into some really, I didn't really realize there was, and I guess, I, I mean, I've been through here several times, and I never really put it to thought that there are some pretty good, you know, hills and, and, and through Kansas. Uh, when you get down to some places now, it's like really flat. Um, I got a video I'm going to add from Bazaar, um, Kansas. Um, there's a little, I don't know what you would call it, historic site, a little something. It's called the um, Cattle Pins. And I looked all over. I can't find out what's significant about it. I, I'm looking at the cattle pens, and and some of them look like they've been there a hundred years. The wood, you know what I'm saying. But the interesting is just how high you are, considering you're the highest point in Kansas, and out there it's long rolling hills. So probably the highest point in Kansas is 18 feet off the ground. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I get out there. And, uh, some of them areas, they look like a tabletop covered grass, but there's just no feature. Um, but I'm just amazed at the amount of of uh, raptors, I guess you would call them, along the highways. Hawks. Like every quarter, half mile, there's a hawk sitting there waiting to catch a mouse. And then I see this big hawk. I'm like, man, and it was a bald eagle. And he was like right there by the road. It was really cool. You know, it would be great if I had money for additional GoPros, one to put on each window where I could just hit a button and record. But here's this bald eagle up in a tree about 12 feet off the ground, you know, just right there by the highway. It was really cool. But um, it seems somewhat devoid of wildlife out here, really. I mean, usually uh, I go out east, their deer will be standing right by the highway eating. Um, I didn't really see anything um, out here. It's... Uh, it's flat. It's it's fairly featureless. Um, I don't know that I have anything else to add. I'm going to add the video of the um, um, of the pins and the, and the view. And there's some good information on that if you know anything about football. I know football and bizarre Kansas. Stay tuned. I'm in bizarre Kansas, a place called the Bazaar cattle pens it's one of the highest points in Kansas over here is a bunch of cattle pens um, I guess at one time this was a very huge cattle sales auction area if I come around here there might be a little wind noise looking straight west can't see anything but might be a little bump out there you can see that's where the plane crash was that killed Newt Rockney. Um, but yeah, it's. I'm sure if it wasn't quite so cloudy and hazy and snowing that uh, this would actually be quite a view. <laughs> 